It's 2020 and I still haven't made a fishing vlog yet. There's a reason for that. One, we've moved into a new big old house. Lots of uh, putting things where they belong and throwing things we don't need out. And uh, I still have been fishing. In fact, here's a couple of the fishing uh, trips I've done so far this year where I didn't have my GoPro with me. Roll the footage. Bring her on up. <laughs> this red fin of the day, or no, sorry, red fish. <laughs> I'm here catching red fish, spotted tail bass. And we caught like 55? Something. You got it, get it. <laughs> you got it. Get it. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Little baby. Oh, oh, you got him in the side, bro. Pull him up, pull him up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let him go, because he's been out for the water for a while and he's bleeding a little bit. But I caught a huge one, like at least three times bigger than this, and I lost him right at the water. So, let's say goodbye. So I didn't have the GoPro with me on either of those trips. And today we are gonna go out and we are gonna go to one of my favorite spots to try and get a good episode in, catch some big spawning, big fat bass boys. Like this big boy right here in my window. Gonna mount him. With the COVID-19 shutdown, uh, I don't think any of the bass stores are open. So we're gonna have to use what kind of bait we have, uh, whatever is left that I haven't lost to the North and South Carolina states. <laughs> in Georgia? <laughs> Don't laugh at that! Don't get Georgia. I said Georgia. You said North and South Carolina. I said Georgia too. Okay. Thanks for remembering my failures. So yeah. I am honest. And honestly, it's time to go fish. Boom! Get to the next clip. The fish will come to me. Uh, so it turns out Cabela's was actually open. They were only allowing uh, 50 people in there at a time. So we got a few different they baits. Up and we let us skip everybody in line. Because we they know that Rex Reynolds is the best. Because we're sexy. We're not sponsored, but they they respect us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got like three baits, I think. Just three baits. I almost bought a new pool, but I was like, yeah, probably shouldn't since no money's coming in. The economy is basically in a standstill. But here we are, Meadow Lark Lake. This is where I caught the two biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. Oh my, you got another chunk. Your first chunk, congratulations. I just caught this on eight pound fluorocarbon with a uh, shark true spinner bait. First fish of the winter, we're gonna put him back. Come on, look at his mouth. He's got a fish tail in his mouth. Oh, I see him. This boy been eating, oh my God. One last look at him, I want one more look. Oh my God. Oh, mwah, you are perfect. All right, all right, I'm gonna let you go. Let go of my hand. I'm Rex Reynolds, and I just got him, folks. Look at that. Oh, my God. Two hands, you did it. All right, big boys like this, you gotta take proper care of. That's, and that's how it's done, folks. What better way to start off the 2020 Rex Reynolds season than here at Meadowlark Lake? Terry Lynn's gonna read. What are you gonna read, Terry Lynn? The Divine Comedy. Hmm, very classy choice. Yeah, something fucking stinks in that bag. Yeah, it's Jesus bad. fuck. All right, guys, we're gonna start out on my medium bait caster with my spinning spinner bait and a little creature attachment, double bladed. We're just gonna like roll it up the side of this bank here there's a bun bunch of rocks right here so maybe we can hit a bed hit a little bed or something oh already got a fish first cast there we go it's a little tiny one 
That's pretty cool, huh? That feels good. That felt great. That was first. I mean, that's a little baby boy right there. That felt great. I love this place. <laughs> Guys, first cast. <laughs> All right, let's put you back. Okay. Whoop. There he goes. Back to mommy and daddy. See if we can get another one right off that same ledge. I think he was a little small for that bait, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> he was tiny. He was real tiny. He bit off a little more than he could chew, I think. Uh, let's get a little toss over this way. Oh, oh, shit. There's some people out here canoeing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. There, there's another one. Oh, nope, we lost him. That fish bit off. That fish bit off this creature bait's uh, tail. That little tiny fish. Let's go right back to where we caught that first guy. Let's get out here on the rock. And get a better angle here. I can get... Oh, there's one. Nope, lost him. Damn it. You know what? I'm gonna take this creature bait off. I feel like this creature bait might actually be hindering my bites. So we're gonna get rid of that. Throw just, like that. just throw the old spinner. How many other fishermen out there don't like to grab their lure and pick shit off? They think they can just whack it off like this. Check out that duck. See him? Uh -huh. so Dude, the life of a bird has got to be the shit. I want to be a duck. I'm on. I'm on. Number two. That's about the same as the other one. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get a bigger one. A lot of little dinks right up against this rock wall. Got another one. A lot of little dinks. They like this spinnerbait, baby. All right, guys, we are off to a great start. Three fish in probably like 10 minutes. All right, let's keep going. So guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm just slow rolling the bottom right next to this rock wall because I know that the fish like to hide down in these big rocks here. It's an easy way for them to strike passing food. I uh, I like to give my bait, I like to pause my spinner bait. I don't like to just constantly roll it. Sometimes I like to just do a little pause and that gets the, uh, ooh, almost got caught up on that log. That gets the, um, the little dress on the spinner bait to kind of uh, make a little move, kind of flares a little bit. And that sometimes will entice the fish to come bite. Like that. Oh, lost him. There we go. Got one. Little one. Number four. Catching bass. Little tiny boys. Little spring cleaning. Having a great time. I just I came out here right when spring started and I caught an eight pounder right here. And I, I, I've loved this spot ever since. <laughs> you know, just, it wasn't anything to catch 20, but they were all 12 inches. I was afraid, oh my God, are they not getting food? Because they put those wipers. I, I was driving by the other day uh, over the bridge, and this kid was over on the other side of the bridge, caught probably 28, 30 inch 
wiper. You're kidding me. Oh, no, they put them in here. To... I didn't know those were in here. Yeah. You got to be out deep, though, probably, right? Well, there's no deep. It's not deep out here? No, uh, about 12 feet is about as deep as it gets. That's Trip that lives right here, right? Uh-huh. And he taught me how to fly fish off his deck right here. Yeah, they, uh, I, I gave Jim, I had a this son-in-law, I gave him, uh, I had a travel fly rod. It's about eight feet long. I said, you learn to fish with that? Yeah. And you can fly fish with anything. Absolutely. Hey, well, nice talking to you, man. Hope you caught some uh, dinner. All right, guys, didn't catch anything on our last cast of the day, but we caught four little tiny bass. That's uh, pretty cool. Met another friend. This lake is full of really nice people. If you respect this lake, don't leave your shit everywhere. Treat the fish with respect, and you can come out here and fish this beautiful lake. But if you don't, they'll kick you out as fast as a fucking rat in a beautiful mansion. So we're going to get out of here. Nicole! Any final words? Get did he do? All right, guys, Italian. first episode of Rex Reynolds 2020 is finished. We'll see you on the next episode. Stay fishy. Stay fishy. <laughs>